Hello YouTube, thank you for watching this video. My name is Kamiya Simon Bita. Now, do not forget to subscribe, share, and like. Now, still, knowledge, not share this knowledge wasted. So, um, I'm trying to say that please remind your friends, okay? Uh, you share this knowledge with them so that they can watch these videos, okay? Now, first, I also want to welcome. Let me see who I will come. All right, so I want to congratulate all those that have won in the uh, in the previous Momo competition. I also want to welcome, okay, uh, Benin and Congo, okay, onto this platform. I'm also sure South Africa is coming on board. All African countries where MTN is are coming on board. There is Rwanda, okay, soon you're coming on board. I welcome you guys welcome to uh, the MTN platform now this is our um, Laravel project and you can see it's uh, a lookalike of an e-commerce platform okay we have the categories here some of the categories there and then all products and whatsoever now of course we meant to purchase but before I do a purchase I want to show you the database where is my database all right so this is my database and then in the database i have the transactions table now the transactions table is different from the one that brian matov created for us in his app where we store where he stores his tokens okay for us our transactions tables where is it is going to be uh, uh, storing the transaction type, transaction status, transaction number, as reference, the token and purchase amount, refunded amount, such things, and then the, the account name. Account name. Who does it belong to? All right. So uh, this is it. And then I also have on the admin side, I have something here called give status. So right now you can see it's empty. All right. So uh, this shouldn't mislead you this button uh, much as it's called buy items let me change it to check because I want I just want that to check like the status of my okay here it is it is on it is that so let me say check status yes and save that come back here and refresh all right so that is done now what we're going to do we're going to purchase an item all right and then we check the status now there's one thing i want to note here and that's something something that mtn wasn't uh, didn't clarify in the documentation if you go to the documentation we have somewhere where we have test numbers so i'm looking for test numbers now these numbers were alternated okay so then this says that it's supposed to show that it is ongoing and then show you success but it remains pending pending like you've seen in my previous videos i actually thought i had an error but the right number to use is this one below it will show you status pending and after 30 seconds show you that it is a success so take note of that so i'm going to copy that and i'll um um, I've already pasted it in into my UI so I'm going to go and right now you can see the cart is empty there's, there's nothing here then I'm going to go and choose to add this item so I'll choose maybe 6,000 okay so you can see there's uh, one item all right worth 6,000 I'll continue maybe a shop again the same item this time around I'm going to shop one of uh, 12,000 I add it so I have two items worth 18,000 6,000 plus 12,000 so I'm going to choose to view the cart all right so you can say I have the two items and each is of a different size one is standard and the other is medium and then I'm going to choose that I want to buy these items what you will call um, so I, I'm, I'm submitting what you can call um, uh, the actual checkout so you can see this is the test number that we're using so that we get the status pending and then after 30 seconds we get the success okay of the status all right so i'm going to continue and choose to buy items now before i buy items you can see that here uh, on my gift status uh, there is nothing okay so i'm going to go and choose to buy items okay 
all right so you can see it is asking me that using this test number all right i'm buying items for that amount now let's go to the code itself all right and that code must be in that would be your functions and here uh, your function and then for us here it's in the controller okay so let's go and and go through the controller which control I expect to be transactions no oh I mean the model where is the controllers okay <coughs> controllers transactions all right so in the transactions controller under the transactions controller this is what I'm doing like in the previous video we're getting to pay momo it's submitting to the the other form is submitting to pay momo and in, and then in the pay momo this is what i do in the pay momo i create a transaction meaning i create this transaction and save it to the database right and then this is the response that you saw where um the the, the where the item was being shown to me all right so i've created this item in the database that transaction in the database and here let me come to the database and i refresh and there you are so you see we have the transaction okay and the, the type of the transaction is a purchase and then the transaction is pending all right and then this is the transaction number uh to show you the transaction number i just auto generated it here where where are you the transaction number somewhere i wrote a random number so that it auto generates between one and five thousand just so that i have uh, a transaction number okay you can see it's taking it from that and then uh, still we have now the x reference id create for created for that particular transaction now the token is not provided simply because brian might have already saved the token for us in his momo tokens all right and he, here is the purchase amount and now the reason we save this x reference id is because we need it now i'm going to do pooling but after you've submitted your callback url you won't be pulling again what they call polling you won't be polling again okay you'll just be receiving what the callback url sends to you now right now if i I refresh here okay and then i choose to check the status all right so it's already successful because i've already gone beyond the 30 seconds okay so but it's supposed to show me that it is pending now uh simple let me do another transaction again why should i purchase blue band uh let me purchase that of 3500 and then go and choose to buy items i buy okay all right so i'm purchasing that so let me refresh go back and uh okay choose another you can see it has saved already another and you can also see if i refresh here it has saved another and the status is pending all right so let me check this I guess it's the new one all right so you can see the status is pending all right so i'm counting 30 seconds 30 seconds uh i'm refreshing okay okay so you can see it's now showing successful and that's because okay um now i'm doing the polling by checking the status and let's go to that function where i'm checking the status all right so it's it must be called uh check status here it is so i do submit the other um, i do submit um um what i call the transaction status it's the only thing that is being pushed from from the follow here you can see what did uh, uh i called it tra uh, check status it's the only thing that is submitted down here all right and then i get check status and I, I i i pick it from the input and then create a new collection and then submit that check status remember it's the check status only contains the x reference id that i saved in the database the x reference id that is saved here in the database okay so um then after i do a die dump so now this is where we are going now if you watch the previous video that is the e part um where we are decoding all right 
you you know that we go beyond that and then we start decoding the status which means i won't repeat this because it's already done up there okay in the in the previous video so we check for the status the payer the pay id the amount and then we we make our so if the status is successful all right or you could write where where the status is you know so where is the status is equal to pending okay do this and this and this you get it but if the status is equal to successful then do this and this and save it to the database so you can write where it first checks to the from the database and then does this and that and that so i was saying that if the status is successful we want to redirect to c product all right uh, one method one vi called c product and then we give the status and then we thank someone for shopping with our app all okay if the status is not yet pending okay we go back uh, to that same url and then we show that your transaction of that amount and that is that and that all right so i'm going to comment the date die dump all right and then all right and then come back to to this item then i shop what should i shop this time around okay there's nothing to do six thousand have added it to cart and then i view the cart all right so i buy the item um remember this is our number so i it's just i just automated it as a value here but here the you would want the client to enter the number now the reason you would want the client to enter the number much as they have logged in what if they have two mobile lines and they want to purchase from the mobile line of their preference you get it eh? so still it will be accounted to their um to their uh, mobile line now someone will ask about authentication now of course if you have your line it means you have the pin to that number meaning if i send a request to pay it will it will be me to enter the pin if i do not have the pin on my cell phone all right i won't be able to access the request to pay all right so let um to to submit uh the request to pay so let me buy okay all right so i've bought and then let me get back here to check status okay and then i must have another and that is it and then is it the last one here and then i choose check status all right so it is telling me that uh, already the transaction is successful okay <laughs> oh my god let's try again and we see if we will have a pending so i, I think the time elapsed during that time okay let me do that buy this buy this item again and then so check status okay so you can see that my transaction is still pending okay so this is all from the if statement that i wrote the if and else statement that i wrote here otherwise you can write your uh, whatever conditions you want all right so you can see it is telling me that that is successful and thanking me for shopping mainly now uh, it's from this base where you choose that if this is this okay if the status is successful what do I want to do I may choose to update okay so thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe do not forget to share these videos with your fellow colleagues see you again in the other video